Hi everyone, today I would like to share with you a small art supplies haul. Most of these were good deals during Amazon Prime days and some I bought outside of those days. And um, let's get started. So let me push all these out of the way and we'll start with a ground. It's RNF uh, ground. It's an encaustic gesso. So to, to do encaustic painting, painting with wax. Um, I did not buy it for, for that reason though. I am part of a Silver Point a Facebook group and somebody recommended this as a ground for Silver Point or Metal Point in general. So this is supposed to be applied to a hard surface, not paper. And um, I just decided to get it in my quest of finding the perfect ground for me. So there's that. I get the cutest little box of Conte à Paris sticks. There are some little drawers with uh, all the little sticks. On three sides. So it's quite cute and a very nice choice of colors. Very nice selection. I like the Lyra brand. And I wanted to try their water soluble graphite sticks. So I've got a pack of three. There's a 6B, a 9B, and a 2B. So pretty dark, all three of them. They're really heavy. <laughs> I also gave in and bought a mini gouache travel palette because yes trying to do plein air with gouache with just the tubes is just not very practical so it's supposed to be airtight and as you can see i've already stained the mixing area because i've already tried it and i've put all my colors in there already i didn't want to fill it up so that um, it would be a too messy so I've got my warm and cool primary colors I've got some titanium white zinc white for mixing this is uh, paints gray I've got a couple of greens uh, burnt umber yellow ochre and burnt sienna talking about gouache I got a Payne's Gray. Um, I've, I realized that it's pretty hard to find in gouache. Uh, hardly any brands have it that I could find. Uh, M Gram is the the only one that I could find. And um, and the reason why I got a Payne's Gray is because I found out that it actually makes really nice greens when mixed with yellows. I also got a bottle of Yasutomo Black Sumi ink. It's the a Japanese ink. Um, it's supposed to be really nice, nice and dark and, and I think water resistant. I'm gonna have to double check that. So I didn't buy it for to do Sumi art, but I'd like to try it, you know, with either a dip pen or a brush to see how, how it is. It's supposed to be nice and dark, so I can't wait. I also bought a set of magnets. I only needed one, but they have some round and rectangular-ish <laughs> magnets. They're very, very thin. And they're sticky. Uh, these are magnets that I think people put on the back of their phones, or at least their phone cases to put on magnetic phone holders in their cars and so I use this to put it on the back of my little palette here because then I can use it on my small plein air easel uh, which has magnets at the bottom so you can either use a small metal uh, watercolor palette like this it'll stick on my mini easel or, or this one, since it's plastic, um, with the, the magnet here, it'll stick and it'll be great. Moving on, 
I wanted to see what the deal was with this sketchbook. The town sketchbook, I've been hearing about it all over YouTube. I think it's the exact same as the Sakura sketchbook. It's just that um, this one is branded Talents and the other one is branded Sakura, which I think are sister companies or like one distributes the other one in their respective countries or something like that. But anyways, I like that they have a lot of different colors for their covers, which is really cute. They have a lot of different sizes and shapes. I picked a small square that's a 4.7 by 4.7 inches. It's 94 pounds, so it's not super thick. It says that you can uh, use it for sk sketching, pencil, charcoal, chalk, graphite, crayon, ink and watercolor. Watercolor with uh, 94 pounds, I think it's just small or light washes. It has 80 sheets, which is quite a lot. It's um, an off-white color. It's uh, definitely not white as you can tell and they're not super thin but they're not like super thick either they're pretty smooth and they are slightly see-through I'm not sure if you can see it, but you can see th through it a little bit. So if you do an ink drawing, for instance, the ink might not go through the page, but you will see it on the other side. So I'm not quite sure about it. I don't know what the hype is about. People have been using it for gouache. I think I'm going to have to um, do quite a lot of testing with this one. In any case, I can always use it just for sketching. It's no big deal. I also get these 8x10 boards. They're the Strathmore 500 series. So they're mi mixed media boards and I thought that I would um, use them for, uh, for gouache because they're nice and thick. And I thought it would be a nice support. See, it's pretty thick. And last but not least, this <laughs> is a little toy that I got. It's called an electric pigment agitator. It's basically a little blender. <laughs> and I got this for my Himimiya gouache. I thought it would be perfect to mix the, the paint with it. And I'm going to have uh, a video, an upcoming video, to show you how I keep my paint fresh and to test it out as well. So that's it for today. I've already tried a few of these and uh, so far so good. If you're interested, I'll put the link of all these items in the description box and um, keep coming back to see videos of me trying them out. Thank you everyone for stopping by. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to support this channel, you can always click on the thanks button right next to the share button. Have a wonderful day everyone. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye bye. Thank you.